Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for today is important fields in quantitative research. So before we start discussing each of the fields, let's tackle the importance of research in our daily lives. Okay, so why research is important? First, research allows us to investigate various problems that cannot be solved in these modern times. Second, Research enables us to make the events, current trends, and issues that can impact to our lives. Third, research molds our writing, comprehension, and critical skills. Fourth, research boosts our professional growth. So these are the reasons why research is being added into this K-12 program. So bakit kasama siya sa mga senior high subjects? Because it enables us to prepare for college since research is one of the major requirements that we usually do in college and also in our professional lives. Ang maganda kasi sa research, research allows us to discover yung mga trends and issues and it also helps us to propose different future outcomes and future projects that can help us to address the issues and problems we are facing in our current lives. So ang goal ng research is to solve the problems that we are facing. Okay, so the first field focuses on the STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Okay, so in science, quantitative research focuses on studies involving the following. Biology, chemistry, physics, earth science, pharmacy, and mental health. So allow me to give an example for each of the following. So biology, we can focus on the correlation between the BMI and eating habits. Sa chemistry, we can perform experiments on different chemicals. So normally, sa chemistry, we do experimental research designs. Even also in physics. In physics, we can use motion as one of the research topics. Then in earth science, we can focus on, let's say, Reduce, recycle, and reuse as one of the solutions to prevent global warming. So we can focus on climates, we can focus on disasters, and we can focus on, let's say, the implementation of, let's say, the rehabilitation towards different infrastructures and cities and, and fields. In pharmacy, we can tackle about research involving medicines and vitamins that can make impact towards human health. So we can use experimental studies like what we do in chemistry. In mental health, we can focus on topics involving psychological disorders, um, behavioral disorders, people with special needs such as autism and Down syndrome. So we can focus on different topics about the mental health. So these are the examples of topics that we can ponder in science. Okay, so when we say technology, also known as ICT, Information Communications Technology. So yan, din, yan ang tinitake up normally na mga TVL na ICT. So let's ponder the following topics. So the quantitative research focuses on studies involving the following. In internet, we can tackle researches about internet connection, while in information and communications technology, we can ponder about gadgets usage and even social media, and even telephones, and basta anything that is hardware. When we say software, we can focus on topics like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Skype, The Sims, and other games. Let's say like sa mga Mobile Legends, that falls under the category of gaming. Sa programming, we can focus on topics involving JavaScript. So even though we're on different fields, we can still do research. Oh, sa engineering, we, we can focus on the following, which are the architecture, infrastructures, power supplies, machines, and aeronautics. So ang mga researchers, gumagawa rin sila ng research about sa engineering. I mean, let's say mga engineerings pala. Okay, sa architecture, we can focus on the designs of the buildings, sa infrastructures, we can focus yun sa mga LRT, MRT, yung mga power supplies, 
yung mga transformers, yung mga ad, mga voltage regulator, yung mga machines, yung mga computers, mga electric fan, yung mga TV, yung mga cellphone, yung mga aeronautics, yun sa mga aeroplano. So, that makes research universal. And it can be done by any of the profession. So, in mathematics, okay, since math major ako, okay, basically, it focuses on the numerical skills. In different mathematical topics, let's say algebra, geometry, trigonometry, statistics, and higher mathematics. So, we can do descriptive, comparative, or experimental or correlational studies in this field. So, uh, usually, when we do research, we can make researches involving the mental abilities and numerical skills, or let's say, mathematical literacy skills of the students and the teachers and the other people. Okay. So, when you say ABM, okay. So, ito yung mga topics na pinaponder ng mga researchers ng business. Okay. Sa so mga nagpipik ng MBA, mga BSBA, yung mga BSM trip. So, ito yung mga topics, let's say, entrepreneurship, businesses, stocks, currencies, leadership development programs, accounting, career, hospitality and events, and finances. So, sa ABM, pwede tayo gumawa ng feasibility study about yun sa proposal na business na gagawin natin as uh, business researchers. And if we cannot do feasibility studies, we can make researches about, let's say, mga cryptocurrencies, mga ukay-ukay, yung mga yung working experiences, yung mga experiences on building establishments, yung mga stocks, yung mga yun sa economy, pati yung mga hotels, restaurants. So, for example, di ba sa Starbucks or in other, let's say, cafe businesses, pinapa-evaluate tayo ng may, may evaluation form, di ba? in order to see as a researcher kung satisfied mga customers o hindi. So, yung customer satisfaction towards a certain business, that is an, that can be used as a research focusing on ABM. Sa IUMS naman, okay, also known na humanities and social sciences, they can focus on behavior issues and trends. For example, yung cancel culture, yung depression, yung anxiety. Tapos pag religious beliefs, I know iba-iba tayo ng paniniwala sa religion but that can be used sa research. Ano yung impact sa Christianity sa buhay natin? Um, ano yung, bakit mahalaga sundin ang rules ng mga religion? Sa law and its aspects, we can do research about yun sa mga batas na implement ng gobyerno. Sa philosophical perspectives, we can use different philosophies, let's say humanism, empiricism, idealism, expressionism. Sa paper natin, sa language and literature, we can measure the verbal skills, the language skills, the reading comprehension skills, ano yung importance ng language sa culture natin, ano yung importance ng language sa buhay natin. Sa history, for me, history is not chismis. History is something that we learn about facts and the research design that we can use is ethnography. Okay. Sa ethnography, we can focus about history. Okay. So, pwede tayo gumawa ng research about yung kay Dr. Jose Rizal, Andres Bonifacio, Apolinario Magui, and other mga presidents. Sa anthropology, it's the study of human beings, geography, politics, economics, sociology, and criminology. So, we can study more topics about this when we're going to do research. So, pwede tayo gumawa ng qualitative research about this. Eh. So, any research design can do sa STEM, ABM, HUMES, and other science. Okay, sa TVLHE naman, okay, food science ang pinaponder natin yung mga cooking skills, mga beverage, dining establishments like fast food sa kitchen, Ano yung mga cooking techniques, ano mga cooking strategies, ano yung mga food and handling safety measures, yung front office services and hospitality management, ano yung mga protocols na implement sa hotel during the COVID, ano mga protocols na implement pag sumasakay na tayo ng aeroplano, 
how are we going to deal with the customers, strategies on dealing with the customers. Sa events management naman, how are we going to implement a successful party, ano mga strategies on implementing a successful party, ano yung mga best place on where we can handle events. Okay, sa arts and design, we can focus on music, yung mga K-pop music, mga OPM, mga J-pop, mga rock, mga R&B, yung mga paintings, yung mga katulad ni Pablo Picasso, yung mga abstract, yung mga expressionism, yung art philosophies, yung mga expressionism at impressionism, yung mga theaters and films. We can focus on topics, let's say, um, stage acting, lock in taping, mga... K-drama, mga J-dorama, mga action, adventure. Yung mga sa Netflix, sa digital arts, we can focus on studies that yung mga software that we can do arts like Microsoft PowerPoint, Adobe Photoshop, Canva, sa dance, mga dancing strategies, ano yung mga pwedeng dances sa mga PWD, yun. So we can focus on different topics. So, Napakaganda ang research because it allows us to be creative in different ways. It allows us to explore about a current topic. So I used to handle HE students before and with that, doon ako natuto yung mga cooking experiences, yung mga cooking skills, yung mga pagkain, doon ako napapamilyarize. Okay, sa gas naman, any strand naman, lahat ng strand pwede kasi generalist eh. However, let me suggest we can focus on the topics like education, yung mga online and face-to-face -face learning, yung mga careers, yung pagiging working students, yung pagiging PWD na employee, yung mga entertainment and sports, yung paano mag-basketball mag ang mga players during the new normal, ano yung mga setups at ano yung mga sports na pwede para sa mga certain people. Sa entertainment, ano yung impact ng entertainment sa society natin, yung mga social issues natin, how are we going to communicate with people, how are we going to perceive about technology, human rights, yung mga pinapanood natin. Sa media platforms, syempre yung mga social media, sa Instagram, sa TikTok, sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa vlogging, sa current trends and issues in society. Yung mga napapanood natin sa news like, let's say, uh, yung mga memes, political trolls, fake news, yung face mask, face shield, vaccination. Okay, so here are the fields or let's say the examples that we can ponder. Okay, so as we see, very particular ang bawat example sa field na ito. So in communication, researchers can focus on how to communicate with people. How are they going to communicate, let's say, in social media? Ano yung mga attitudes to towards messenger? Ano mga perceptions towards messenger? Sa medicine naman, we can do... <coughs> experimental research yung mga herbal medicines, ano yung mga impacts na herbal medicines sa health natin. Sa business naman, ano yung mga strategies on how to gain customers, yung mga customer satisfaction. Sa finance naman, sa stocks, sa education naman, nagpo-focus siya sa mga teachers, how to develop mga teaching strategies, how to improve yung mga classroom management, how to... Yung mga courses na pipiliin natin. Yun yung decision mga courses natin. Sa ABM naman, more on businesses, more on feasibility studies. Sa STEM naman, mga physics, mga technologies, mga devices, mga medicines, mga diseases, mga mental disorders. Sa humes naman, yun mga language, history, mental health. Sa IT naman, also known as information technology, mga social media, mga software, mga internet connections. Okay, so do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. So thank you and God bless you. Have a great day and have a happy research day.